Okay, I want to talk about the moon. Now this is how heliocentrism says it works. With the sun over here, the moon going around like this. Okay. Some people actually thought that the Earth's shadow was causing the phases of the moon. Um, but that's not even what heliocentrism says. However, this is based on math from a model where the sun is 93 million miles away. But through rays like this, you know, sunlight spewing out in all directions, that pretty much eliminates the 93 million mile thing. Um, so here's what uh, this site says, phases of the moon are caused by shadow the earth falling on the moon fiction. This is probably the most commonly held misconception in all of astronomy. All right. This site says the moon appears to move completely around the celestial sphere once about 27.3 days as observed from the earth. This is called a sidereal month and reflects the corresponding orbital period of 27.3 days. The moon takes 29.5 days to return to the same point. The celestial sphere is a reference to the sun because of the motion of the earth around the sun. This is called synodic month. Lunar phases observed from the Earth are correlated with the synodic model. These effects that cause small functions. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. This site here. I like this. It says, uh, I have just read an article, Why Doesn't the Moon Rotate? Because we always see one side of the moon. Yeah, we see phases, but we never see the dark side of the moon, if there even is one. Um, this guy says, the moon doesn't rotate about its own axis, but rather rotates about the Earth's axis. True or false? Well, true and false. You might be struggling against the nuisances in the meanings of the word rotate and revolve. The moon rotates about its axis at exactly the same rate as it revolves around the Earth. Um, but we are going to see this. Can, people sometimes wonder if the moon rotates. To us on Earth, the moon always has the same face pointed towards us, so the moon might not seem to rotate. But to someone on the moon, it certainly does. The moon experiences day and night but each day lasts about 14 Earth days and does not and does each night on the moon. Okay. Now, let me get the eclipse of this. However, this is from the book of Enoch, the book of the courses of the heavenly luminaries, which is an interesting book whether it's the unerrant word of the Creator, that's for another discussion. I'm not taking sides on either one of those positions, but it says, The book of the courses of the luminaries of the heaven, the relations of each according to their classes, their dominion, their seasons, according to their names, and place of origin according to their months, which Uriel, the holy angel who is with me, who is their guide, the heavenly luminary's guide, showed me, and he showed me all their ways exactly as they are, and how it is with regard to all the years of the world, and into eternity till the new creation is. Okay, so this is saying that we have some holy angel, part of the divine council, Uriel, who is the heavenly luminary's guide. Okay. Go
goes on to say, And after this law, I saw another law dealing with this smaller luminary, which is named the moon. And her circumference is like the circumference of the heaven. And her chariot in which she rides, driven by the wind. And the light is given to her in definite measure. And her rising and setting change every month, and her days are like the days of the sun. And when her light is uniform, a.k.a. full, it amounts to one-seventh part of the light of the sun. Now see, science will tell you that the moon is one-eighth the size of the earth, which I find that interesting. They go one, this says one-seventh the light comes from the moon. one-seventh the light. You go to here, it says, As he rises, so he sets and decreases not, and rests not, but runs day and night, and his light is sevenfold brighter than that of the moon. But as regards size, they are both the same, both equal. Their positions I wrote down, their positions as he showed them to me. I wrote them down, their months as they were, and the appearance of the lights till fifteen days were accomplished. In single seventh parts she accomplished all her light in the east, and in single seventh part accomplished all her darkness in the west, and in certain months she alters her settings, and in certain months she pursues her own peculiar course. In two months the moon sets with the sun in those two middle portals the third and the fourth. See, when you're talking about the heavens, we got portals, okay? Everything up there is, is sentient. You know, we can't really understand what's going on. These are, these are quanta concepts that is occulted from man. Okay, we can give it our best shot and try to make sense of it. Uh, nobody's got it figured out, and in my opinion, nobody will figure out the heavens, okay? And when we did try to figure out the heavens, back in the time of Nimrod, the old Earth, old earth had one language and one speech. What's that sound like? One world order. It came to pass, they journeyed from the east and land to Shinar. Come, let us make bricks. They had asphalt for mortar. Let us build ourselves a city whose tower, the top, is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. See, they had pride going on here, these people. Lest we be scattered abroad of the whole face of the earth. But the Lord came down, all caps, Lord, to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, these people are one. They have one language, and this is what they begin to do. Now, nothing they propose to do will be withheld from them. So they were going to pull it off. They were going to pull what off? They were going to pull off building a tower whose top is in the heavens. So they come down, went down, and the divine council went down and confused the languages that they may not understand the speech. Babel. Okay. Now, here we got the face on the moon. Now, my challenge is is to see, you can reference, you can get a pair of binoculars or whatever. And this is a good reference point right here. This little, whatever you want to call it, crater. I don't even think it's that's what it is, but you can reference that because it's hard to kind of tell what these are. But we need to track this thing over the course of time. Every, you know, once a month once every 27 and a half days observe where it's at you know like each full moon go out and take pictures or you know videos or just document where this little part is because some say this the moon is turning like a wheel which is opposite of what science says. science says it's turning on its axis in sync with us as it goes around Okay, so I, I can't verify this, but a lot of people have said 
that this thing is turning like a wheel. Wheel in the sky keeps on turning, you know. The journey song. I can't verify that, but let's do some research if you'd like. Now, Brian Mullen had an awesome theory on the moonlight actually sucking energy from the earth that was omitted by the sun as a resistor and kind of charging back up. I know this sounds really quanta and far-fetched, but it's I like it. I mean, you have to remember, these things in the sky are, we don't understand them. If we did, we wouldn't be arguing about all this stuff. Okay, so check him out and, and listen to his theories on this. He's just speculation, but I like this video. Cool moonlight experiment, okay? Try that out. Um, then, okay, I wanted to get to one more thing. Now, the eclipses here. Nobody really talked about this eclipse that just happened on uh, March 23rd. But the thing of it is, it was a penumbral eclipse. Well, it will last for four hours and 15 minutes, Wednesday, March 23rd. Where's the date at here? This was published March 22nd, Wednesday morning. Okay, this thing was eclipsed for 4 hours and 15 minutes. Now we've seen it, we was watching it, and it was kind of hazy from geoengineering or whatever up there. Um, but we've seen it start to be eclipsed, and then pretty soon it, it was complete black, and it wasn't the type of lunar eclipse I was used to, you know, the blood moon. I didn't realize at the time that it was a pre numble eclipse. It was a different kind of eclipse. So... But it may be noticeable for only a few minutes, around 7.47 a.m. Okay. We just happened to have a friend that left that morning, because we all gave it up. We went out and looked up in the sky and couldn't see the thing. The sun was starting to, you know, starting to get daylight out. And a friend left, and she came flying back in. She said, gotta see the moon, gotta see the moon. And, um... Uh, we actually got pictures of it, but at that precise time, it was at the end of our street. It was beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, and uh, I have some theories on these eclipses, on what might be going on here, because this we had just went outside 20 minutes prior, and could not see the moon. Should have had this ready, but I don't. Um, anyway, if you'd like to see the pictures, you can message me in the comments or something. But we have to catch this eclipse in this four minute window, only a few minutes. Now, they say the pre eclipse comes from when the moon is in this part of the Earth's shadow. Now, wait a minute. First, science tells you that all these, the sun's 93 million miles away and all these light rays are going straight. So how do they get this crisscross action? I don't know. But I have some new theories on the, these two different kind of eclipses that we experience. and it has to do with the portals spoken of in Enoch, these third and fourth portals. Okay, if it goes through the fourth, you know, in two months the moon sets with the sun in these two middle portals, the third and the fourth. So there's six portals all together. You know, it's just going to take some research, but I have some, you know, nobody really talked about this eclipse. I found it fascinating. And I'm going to try to draw up a diagram on these portals that I believe we may be dealing with under the dome. So, that's all for now. Thanks for viewing. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate any input in the comments. Have a great night.